Number 10. Al Capone Moonshine Al Capone is well known for being the most infamous gangster in American history. During the national banning of alcohol known as Prohibition, Capone's Chicago operation made millions off the bootlegging, prostitution, and gambling. Capone dominated the organized crime scene and worked with partners in various regions to maintain his chokehold on the illegal liquor scene. A moonshine still believed to belong to the operations of the infamous 1920s era gangster was found in an area known as Hell Hole Swamp by archaeologists. The discovery was made in the woods of South Carolina, part of the Francis Marion National Forest. Among the objects found were the moonshine still, a garden hose, box, and metal scraps. These parts are just one of the several stills that archaeologists have connected to Benjamin Villaponto, a notorious associate of Al Capone. Catherine Parker, a researcher associated with the discovery, said the items were probably part of an illegal liquor distilling operation, remnants of an operation run by a notorious local bootlegger. Parker also included on her website that these items are often mistaken to be modern trash dumps to the untrained eye, especially since they often include items that are still commonly used and dumped, like the cinder blocks. An architectural historian determined that the blocks found here likely dated back to the 1920s and functioned as a supporting platform for a submarine-style liquor still, which remained in use for many years even after alcohol became legal again. This was due to a hefty $4 per gallon tax imposed by the state on legal liquor. According to Parker, the submarine-style liquor still, which can contain hundreds of pounds of rye, barley, water, and sugar, is raised over a fire and allowed to boil inside a metal container that, when connected by a hose, draws out alcohol vapors and condenses them into liquid. Villaponto owned a property close to the forest and was killed in 1926 during a bloody shootout by a rival gang of bootleggers. Villaponto was responsible for several busted distilleries found in the area and was working with Capone to run illegal liquor out of South Carolina during Prohibition prior to his violent end. Number 9. MS World's Discoverer The MS World's Discoverer is a cruise ship that was ultimately abandoned and left to rot in Roderick Bay of the Nagala Islands, where it still sits today. An entire cruise ship being abandoned is rather unusual, so how did this happen? The MS World's Discoverer was a large ship built with a length of 297 feet and a total of seven decks. The ship was launched on December 8, 1973, with a capacity of 137 passengers in 76 cabins. Its trouble began when it struck an underwater obstacle of reef and was ultimately abandoned in the Sandfly Passage of the Solomon Islands after roughly 25 years of service. After the incident in 2000, which hit this majestic beauty, the ship's captain sent a distress signal which was received in Honaira, Solomon Islands' capital city. Thankfully, no lives were lost as all passengers were dispatched to a passenger ferry sent for the rescue. The ship was brought into Roderick Bay where it was grounded. Today, the ship has been damaged by tidal activities and destroyed. During the time of its wreck, the Solomon Islands were experiencing a civil war and the ship was plundered extensively by the locals as well as other factions participating in the fighting. It now suffers surface rusting and loss of windows in its abandonment. Salvagers found the ship to have little value remaining thanks to the extensive destruction by the locals during the war and the only remaining function of the MS World Discoverer is to use it as a tourist attraction. Number 8. Queen Anne's Revenge the infamous pirate Edward Teach, more commonly known as Blackbeard, whose exploits are the stuff of legend, was the captain of a vessel known as the Queen Anne's Revenge. An 18th century ship with a length of 103 feet, the Queen Anne's Revenge records remain uncertain. Some believe it to be originally built for merchant service in Bristol, England in 1710. This 200-ton vessel, which was first used as a slave ship, was first acquired by the French Navy in November 1716 and was later sold by them for commercial purposes. Queen Anne's Revenge was captured by Blackbeard in 1717 near the island of St. Vincent in the West Indies. It was said to have more heavy cannons added by Blackbeard after its capture. Blackbeard only used the ship for less than a year despite winning numerous prizes with it as his flagship and selling off its cargo of slaves at Martinique. The remains of the wreck were discovered by a private firm in 1996, and reports stated that Blackbeard deliberately grounded the ship as an excuse to let go of the crew, several of which he abandoned on a small island nearby. At the wreckage site, up to 300,000 artifacts were recovered, and among those total a number of cannons identified. Up to 30 different cannons belonging to various origins including Sweden, England, and possibly France. Additional explorations in 2006 and 2007 led to more discoveries made. This information was able to confirm viral claims of the ship being the actual Queen Anne's Revenge, and in 2008 even more artifacts were discovered. These include loose ceramic, pewter fragments, lead strainer fragments, nesting weights, a sword guard, a cannon apron, a coin, and ballast stones. The most recent recovery was made in 2011 when the 1.4-ton remains of the ship were excavated and brought to the surface. These include various weapons such as the Lagrange or canister shot. This wreck has continued to yield fascinating pieces of history. Number 7. Ancient Coins 
Over 300 Roman imperial coins and a gold bar were found in an amphora, a type of jar once used by the Romans to transport liquids such as wine and olive oil by archaeologists. The discovery was made by construction workers during the excavation of the Cressoni Theater in the north of Milan in Italy. Reports from a coin expert revealed they were left in a way that they could be easily retrieved upon the occurrence of any disaster. She also explained that the arrangement of the coins in rows stacked like the modern banks could not belong to a private individual, but rather a bank or some other commercial development. Experts, however, have claimed that the worth of the coins is somewhere between $800,000 to $1.5 million. One of the incredible unique pieces dates back to sometime before 474 AD and features Emperor Honorius, Valentinian III, Leon I, Antonio, and Labio Severo. The Cressoni Theater was opened in 1807 and it experienced its closure in the year 1997. So when was the amphora placed there? How did it get there? Who deposited it? Why was it left there? Why was it abandoned? And why did no one come for it? Just whose stash of gold was this? The answers remain unclear. Historical records show that during the period when the coins were likely stashed, the Roman Empire was experiencing chaos and collapse. Perhaps similar to modern doomsday preppers, the person hiding this stash of gold was attempting to prepare for war, famine, or other potential fallout from the collapse of the ruling government. Number 6. SS City of Adelaide The SS City of Adelaide, a passenger steamship, was launched in 1863 from Glasgow, Scotland. This steamship was built by J&G Thompson in Govan, Glasgow, and was later converted to a cargo transport while it carried passengers between Sydney, Melbourne, and Honolulu. It sailed for 50 years before it caught fire in 1912, which lasted for several days and ran aground in Cockle Bay, Magnetic Island in Australia. During World War II, the city of Adelaide was used as a bombing target for the RAAF, and in 1942, the vessel experienced a bomb impact which led to its crash as its fuselage disintegrated, instantly killing three RAAF officers and a U.S. Navy officer aboard. The vessel today has become deteriorated and known as a wreck full of mangrove trees growing mostly undisturbed. It has since become a bit of an Instagram sensation, though it's certainly off the beaten path. Number 5. BOS 400 Shipwreck The BOS 400 Shipwreck is a ship that at one time was known to have the largest floating crane in Africa capable of lifting 1,200 tons. The BOS 400 unfortunately ran aground in Maori Bay during a storm on the South African coast in 1994. This large monster experienced a massive hit with a rock on its way to Cape Town, having almost reached its destination when the tow rope suffered a breakage. Due to the heavy storm present, the lines of the barge experienced disconnection, the crew was left to abandon the ship as they were airlifted to safety. The BOS 400 experienced a total loss despite attempts by the crew. Today, the large crane and part of its structure are still visible above sea level. This eerie and haunting abandoned oil rig is fascinating to see, though the local government has had to explicitly inform potential explorers of the area not to climb the extremely dangerous wreckage. Would you take the long trek to set eyes on the BOS 400 shipwreck? Share in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing and unusual content. Number 4. Chatillon Car Graveyard Deep in a forest in southern Belgium surrounded by dirt roads, fields, a farm, and dense thick trees enough to prevent anyone from seeing what lies hidden within, there lies an eerie abandoned car graveyard. The rusty automobiles were found near the village of Chatillon, home to one of the largest car graveyards in the world, just a short distance from the border with France. These vehicles are said to have belonged to U.S. soldiers who were stationed in the area during World War II. When it came time to return home, shipping their cars, however, seemed expensive, hence the reason they were abandoned even after the conclusion of the war. And to save cost, these U.S. soldiers simply drove the cars right into the woods and left them parked there in rows. At least, that's the popular version of the story. Car enthusiasts with a keen eye, however, would likely notice that the photos included cars that had clearly been abandoned in the infamous car graveyard were clearly left from a time after the war. It's possible that some of the cars made their way to the area via World War II soldiers, but perhaps that story has been embellished for a sense of romanticism. While the cars remained abandoned there for many years, the risk of damage to the environment proved too great. Cleaned up in 2010 by people who may never know the story behind these long-existing abandoned objects, the site remains a calm place today and further seen as a place for tourists. Number 3. Bartini Beriev VVA-14 Plane The Bartini Beriev VVA-14 is ultimately the result of the ongoing competition between the U.S. and the Soviet Union out supplying each other with military equipment. The contest was regarded at the time as the most expensive arm race in history. The Bartini Beriev VVA-14 plane was developed during the early 1970s by the Soviet Navy to combat airstrikes, which interestingly has its other features as an object capable of functioning in both water and air, 
which makes it possible to take off from water and fly at high speed over long distances. As an instrument of war, it was known to have conducted 107 flights with a total flight time of 103 hours. The Bartini was primarily made to subvert U.S. submarines and any missile strikes. The abandoned aircraft is named after its Italian-born designer Robert Bartini and was flown by a crew of three pilots. Of the two prototypes built, only one survived and it sits near the Russian Air Force Museum located outside Moscow. The abandoned one, however, has its wings missing, which serves as a reminder of wasted time and effort. Despite Robert Bartini's death in 74, campaigns have been led by some aviation enthusiasts to revive the plane. Number 2. Redbird Subway Car In the late 70s and early 80s, New York City was a very different place. In order to combat graffiti, the iconic Redbird subway cars were painted their very distinctive bright red color. The Red Bird found standing in a field located in the middle of New York was once considered one of the fastest, running on most of the numbered IRT lines for four decades. Initially entering service in various colors, these cars received the new paint scheme between 84 and 89. Today, repurposed Red Bird cars serve as garbage trains, rail adhesion cars, or rider cars on locomotive-hauled work trains, while others have been preserved by various museums. One of the places we can find the Red Bird subway car is the Transit Museum, while another is stationed in Queens as a center for tourist attraction in Kew Garden. Number 1. Mahino Shipwreck An iconic shipwreck can be found off Fraser Island, an island where nature's lush beauty of green trees offers something for every traveler. Aside from its beautiful scenic views, however, this island's waters are also known for swallowing many of the large vessels that have ventured nearby. Some of these vessels have become a draw for tourists seeking the unique and unusual. Among those that have experienced disaster on this island is the SS Mahano. Mahano is a word from Maori, a native language of New Zealand, which means island. Originally an ocean liner, the SS Mahano had some pretty luxurious accommodations. Once able to take on 420 passengers, the ship featured a smoking room, dining area, and a music room that even included a classic Beckstein grand piano. The SS Mahano is acknowledged as the first turbine-driven steamer in the world. Long before its ultimate demise off Fraser's coast, the ship was first used as a hospital ship where casualties of war were carried for treatment. Today, it makes up a part of the exquisite landscape of this vacation spot. Thanks for checking out today's video. Are you into exploring abandoned spaces or objects? We'd love to hear about your discoveries in the comments below. That's all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks again and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.